exclude someone as a reviewer for your manuscript, we ask that you uh, note this in your submission and also include the reason why, so we can understand your case. It's sometimes difficult to find reviewers, so this is why we would like you to narrow it down to three people and not exclude whole institutes or whole countries. This kind of makes it unreasonable. I always respect those exclusions and um, if ever an author has issues with other reviewers, even after peer review, they are always happy to contact the editor and discuss this. So at Cell Reports, if an, if an author requests a reviewer to be excluded from the review process, we do not go to that reviewer. Um, we, we feel pretty strongly that this is important. Uh, authors could have a number of different reasons for excluding a reviewer. Uh, we don't always have to know what those reasons are, but we do recognize that they're valid reasons um, for an author to exclude a reviewer. Um, sometimes this presents difficulties for us. So at Cell Reports, we take transfer manuscripts and we have seen cases where the most positive reviewer um, was now excluded um, from reviewing the paper once the paper comes to us. And even in that case, we still don't go back to that reviewer, even if we know that that reviewer is um, favorably disposed towards the paper. The way we treat reviewers in opposition with each other can vary quite wildly. If I think a reviewer is raising one point that another reviewer does not agree with, what I might often do is send the reviewer comments from one of those reviewers to the other reviewers and ask what they think. Is this point reasonable? Does this person, are they raising a good point here? Is this something that the authors would actually need to address and get some broader feedback and consensus about whether any particular point that seems to be contentious is actually relevant and would further the paper and actually help the authors and tell the story that they're trying to tell. When I do get opposed a reviewer, the first thing I will do is to send the comment of each reviewer to the other one. Sometimes the reviewer that was negative will change its mind and realize that he or she was too harsh. It can happen also that the positive reviewer realize that he might have missed a really important point. If the debate is not about a technical point, if it's about a conceptual point, I do believe that it's up to us editors to decide what we want to publish in our journal. And we can take a stand for a paper, even if one reviewer disagrees with us.